everyone, I hope you all are doing well. I am so excited because today my mom Sebastian and I are at the beautiful Marriott on Singer Island. We have been here a few times to go to the spa, we've been to the pool, it's right on the beach, it's just amazing here. I love Singer Island, it is one of my favorite places. The Marriott so graciously is hosting us for the evening, so I wanted to quickly show you guys the room that they hooked us up with. It is a two bedroom suite, it is absolutely beautiful, so let me turn you guys around and show you our awesome room. So I'm starting at the door. So if you come in and you go to your right, here is the first bathroom, which has a really nice walk-in shower as well as a tub. And then they provide you with some products from this works, which I haven't tried. But there's just the vanity, the mirror, and then a little room for the toilet. And then you can go straight through here. And this is the first bedroom, has two beds. has a closet, here's my mom's suitcase, she's gonna stay in this room, have a nice mirror, dresser, TV, and then let me walk you guys over here so you can see the beautiful view. So down here we have one of their pools and then there's the beach, how pretty, super excited. So we are gonna walk back through This door comes out to the kitchen, which is nice, nice full kitchen, big refrigerator, sink, um, we've got a microwave, coffee maker, and then in here, we don't have a stove, so I guess it wouldn't be considered a full kitchen, but in here you have a washing machine and a dryer, so if you need to do laundry while you're here, you're able to do that. Has, oh, it does have a stove. Have a little stove, a toaster, and then here's the little family room area. Mom and Sebastian are checking out the view. What do you think? Do you love it? Say hi. Show mommy the patio. Let's see. Whoa. Wow. Look at that view, baby. Here's a better look at the beach and the pool. They actually have two pools here. They have this one and they have another one with a water slide. It's a little bit more family friendly. Beautiful. Definitely a little toasty out here. It is South Florida in the middle of summer. So we're talking 90s. Someone's ready to get in the air conditioning. So then we have another area. Over here is the second room. You have a nice big closet with a safe, lots of hangers, extra bedding. And then look at this bathroom. Beautiful, I should have brought some bath bombs for that lovely bathtub. But another vanity, some more products, hair dryer, another potty, and a walk-in shower. And then last but not least, this is the other bedroom with a nice king bed. And then another view to the ocean and the pool. Absolutely beautiful. Everything is nice and clean. Smells nice and fresh. So beautiful. We just checked in about 20 minutes ago. Came up to our room. We are gonna get ready to go down to the beach and hang out by the pool. We're gonna enjoy a nice little staycation. Everyone has been lovely here. Everyone's wearing their masks. They have lots of social distancing markers. They are having their spa at 25% capacity, their restaurants at 50% capacity, but everything has been nice and safe and clean and everyone has been really friendly so far. So we will definitely show you guys around the hotel and I'm excited for you guys to come on this little staycation with us. We just walked down to the beach. They have chairs here that you can use. So we have chairs, we have a nice umbrella. It is very hot, but it's a beautiful day. We've gotten a lot of rain recently, so it is nice that it is clear skies, crystal clear water. It is beautiful. So we're gonna hang out. We're gonna go in the water, have our drinks and just relax. Taking a quick break for lunch. I made myself a turkey and cheese sandwich and Bubba's over there eating his uncrustable peanut butter and jelly with his ducky. The weather's nice over here and then not so nice over here. We're hoping that the rain doesn't come. Hopefully it stays away. 
but it's a beautiful day. And five minutes later, it's pouring, but they're having fun. Sometimes you just gotta dance in the rain. So after Mom and Sebastian danced in the rain, we came back up to <laughs> we came back up to our room because uh, it was rainy, and we were hoping that Sebastian would take a nap. We got him in the bath. Both of us took a shower, got all rinsed off, got in comfy clothes. Sebastian laid on the bed with his eyes almost shut. <laughs> but he did not take a nap and now he has a second wind <laughs> and my mom are playing um, so I went ahead and threw our bathing suits in the dryer which is nice so now we don't have to put on wet bathing suits because I only packed one bathing suit for each of us and we're gonna head down to the pool and check out the pool I have been down to the one that's you can see from our room the big like adult pool area but I haven't been to the one with the water slide yet so I'm excited to try that out oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> They're having a little too much fun. He's gonna be tuckered out by the time we get to the pool. <laughs> Just made it to the pool. There's the awesome water slide. We are enjoying the pool. Mom and I are drinking our welcome beverages. On the day that you check in, you receive a free welcome drink at the bar between 4 and 5 p.m. as part of your resort fee. Today they are doing vodka and orange juice. The bartender heard that I like tequila though, so she gave me a tequila and orange juice. It's delicious, nice and refreshing. The rain has gone. It is a nice, beautiful day. I'm just enjoying the pool. They also have a bar out here as well. Everyone is socially distancing. It's a beautiful day. Hey, Sebastian. Say hi, YouTube. We just got back to the room and they left us all kinds of goodies, which Sebastian has already <laughs> indulging in. He was so excited about the cookies. So they left us a plate of cookies with a little note, some jelly beans. Cashews. All kinds of yummy goodies, a bottle of wine. Yum. Is that good? That's as big as your head. <laughs> That's oatmeal raisin. That's Ducky's favorite. So we just got back to the room. We're gonna enjoy our goodies and get uh, cleaned up a little bit and head to dinner because we're starving. One of us is starving. Mom never eats, so. <laughs> She's had me on a liquid diet. <laughs> yeah, you. I'm ready to eat. Can you say thank you, Marriott? <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Yummy. It is now almost 6.30. There's a dog dog, yeah. We are at dinner, we're at Mulligan's, which if you've watched me or follow me on Instagram for any amount of time, you know that Mulligan's is one of my favorite places. He's got a truck, he's got a dog dog, he's very happy. We just ordered some dinner, we're probably gonna watch the sunset on the beach. I mean, it doesn't really get much better than this. Got a margarita, got my baby, got my mom. Having oh, I'm glad nice, I was added to that. Having a time. very nice vacation. We just had a little bit of rain. Other than that, it's been a great day. A great day. So we live on the east coast, so the sun technically doesn't set. It's still pretty. It'll be yeah, pink. It'll, it'll be, be gorgeous. It'll be great. We just have to go to the west coast. And then we'll watch the sunrise in the morning. She's crazy. <laughs> Our food just arrived. Bubba and I both got chicken tenders and french fries. Mom got a margarita pizza. It's good. So if you come to Singer Island, definitely recommend checking out Mulligan's. You could definitely walk from the hotel, but we've decided to drive. But you could walk. Not too far. Bubba likes it. Here's just a little clip of where we are. They do have another restaurant right here. Two Drunken Goats is what it's called. They have really good drinks there as well. And they usually have live music, which is nice. I was hoping to walk around 
ocean walk for you guys so you could see what was here, but it's getting ready to storm. But here's Mulligan's where we just had dinner. There's a gym, there's a nail place down there, a 7-Eleven where growing up we used to stop and get Slurpees after going to the beach. There's a few more restaurants this way, a bagel place, so definitely worth checking out if you're in the area. And this is what we are trying to avoid. <laughs> here comes the rain. This is Florida for you. The storm has passed, so we are out of our hotel room now. Going to try and get the last little bit of sunlight in on the beach. We didn't get any pretty pink sky for the sunset because of the storm, but it is nice and breezy and really beautiful. I love being by the water. Look at that tan baby. He's the best skin tone. That curly hair. Here's the area down by the ocean. So they have a little tiki where you go and get your towels and reserve your chairs and all of that. When you come back, they have a little foot wash station so you can wash all the sand off your feet. They tell you the beach conditions, have some chairs down here. They have a bar. You can go order drinks or order food to take down to the beach, which is really nice. This is all closed up now because it's a little after eight. One thing that's really nice is they have all these hoses set up so during the day when the sand is crazy hot, you can get your feet wet so while you're walking in the sand, your feet are not melting off. Sebastian is determined to walk down to the beach by himself. <laughs> He's doing a great job. So beautiful out here. Well, we did get a little bit of a pink sunset after all. I feel like I've said a million times in this vlog already that it is a beautiful day, but it truly has been a beautiful day. I mean, look at this awesome sunset, the beautiful pink sky after this crazy storm just came through. And I feel like that is just basically how the year has been. It's been crazy, but so much good has come out of it as well. Oh, man, when I sit on the beach, I just get in my feels. Do you guys do that? I love coming down here at night and just hearing the waves crash and just thinking and reminiscing and listening to music and oh, it just gets me in my feels. I recently talked about this on Instagram, but as much as I love the mountains, I love the ocean so much. It took me a long time to love Florida because I just always saw myself somewhere else, <laughs> somewhere in the mountains. I've always felt like a Georgia peach at heart and not a Florida girl, but I truly do love Florida and I love the ocean and I love being by palm trees and just being here on the beach right now just feels so good. And look at my mom and my baby walking along the beach it just really doesn't get much better than this it is day two of our staycation we are checking out this afternoon we actually have a late checkout for 1 p.m. which is nice it is around 8 30 I got up early and went down to the beach and watched the sunrise which was really pretty I posted some pictures on my Instagram um, but I just wanted to show you guys as we're walking to the beach they do have some things that you can play with out here by the pool some foosball. I believe that's like a stacking tower. Well, I don't know why I can't think of the name of it. And of course my lens is fogging up because it is Florida. <laughs> but we are headed down to the beach to enjoy some fun before it gets too hot. One thing that's great about staying at this hotel is there's this really nice reef right here easy to get to and you can rent snorkel gear and that's all part of your resort fee so you can check it out I heard yesterday there was barracuda and all kinds of things out there I've seen crabs everywhere but it's great especially if you have kids nice little area to hang out Sebastian's living his best life blowing bubbles playing in the sand he loves swimming he's got his he's got his ducky he's happy you happy We have now moved the party over to the pool. They have this really awesome like beach entrance, which Sebastian loves. It's really easy for him to get in and swim. He's got his swimmies on. He's doing really well. 
He hasn't done swimming lessons yet, but they are coming very soon because he's definitely ready to swim. We pretty much have the pool to ourselves right now. Not too many people here. I'm just hanging out. This beautiful waterfall. And they also have a water slide, but you have to be 48 inches to ride. I was hoping to take Sebastian with me, but that's not gonna happen. But I might go by myself because it looks like fun. But they also have a bar out here you can order drinks and food from. So we're gonna enjoy the pool for a little bit and then I have an appointment at the spa to get a blowout, which is gonna be really nice. But we're just we'll relaxing. Mom is trying to work on her tan. <laughs> I wanted to quickly show you guys the restaurant that they have inside the hotel. There's an amazing view out to the beach. You can request a table close to this view. But look how pretty. And I hear their food is delicious and they have a full bar here as well. You can also sit outside, little tea huts. It is now 3.30. We just got home from our wonderful staycation at the Marriott. Sebastian is already in bed taking a nap. He is exhausted. He has been going, going, going since the moment we arrived on property. He has loved swimming in the pool and being in the ocean. It was such a wonderful couple of days. After we went swimming this afternoon, we made a mad dash upstairs to shower and pack up our room before I went downstairs to get a blowout. My hair was a hot mess from being in the ocean in the pool and they washed it. The shampoo and conditioner smelled amazing. The woman who blew up my hair was so sweet. It had a lot more body than it does now, but when I got in my car, it was 104 degrees. So you can imagine the sweat and the humidity and all of that. So my hair is looking a little flat, but it was really nice. It was nice and relaxing. I had a glass of champagne while I was there, so it was wonderful. The hotel was amazing. Everyone was so kind, super sweet, super accommodating. Everything was clean. Everyone was wearing masks. It was great. I highly recommend it. I have a blog post up on my blog that has more pictures and information about the hotel and details about our stay, so if you're interested, definitely check it out. I will have it linked in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will have all the information for the Marriott in the description box below. Let me know what you guys are doing this summer. Are you doing any staycations, any local travel plans? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.